you can be big and uh, actually um, fake almost, like um, because a lot of real shit is uh, so so big in real life that you know it, it would be like fake. I'm so glad you said that. You said being big in real life and then coming across on the scene. You acted in one of my favorite all time movies, Above the Rim, with Tupac. Ooh, what was wait. I mean? That was a I mean, Woo. iconic. That was what was that experience like being across from, big, from Pac? Right? That was my first film. That was that was mm. my first film. So for me, I was, uh, and that's the first thing I auditioned for. So wow. I was just struck wow. in general. Your first audition was about my first him. movie audition. Wow! But I was in school too. I studied theater. I went to NYU and studied theater. So I was a student at the time, and wow. um, I got the role through my brother, older brother. Um, just meeting an agent, being like, my, I think my brother could do this. There was basketball in, I mm. can play basketball. So, you know, uh, I just need to act, really. Because a lot of actors can't really, can't really hoop, you know what I'm saying? So None of them. they're going to pretend like they can hoop and it look fake. <laughs> it looks it look fake. Oh, it looked bad, no, right? It look so, bad. <laughs> at the, so I go to the, to the audition. Um, man, I had a, a glossy photo that I took. Like, it's not the <laughs> right picture, right? <laughs> Doing shit resume and all that. I'm in school. He got his know? passport right. photo. Um, <laughs> I had a lot of confidence, though. I had the confidence. Okay. Uh, I, get the, I get the audition. I go to it. Then I get the call back. And the, uh, I forget, the lady called me. Her name is Mary. I forget her last name. One of the casting assistants, she called and was like, I think you're going to get this role. And then I was like, oh, shit. I'm about to get a movie in this. <laughs> you serious? <laughs> you talking it's the 90s, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm, I'm mad young. I'm like, what? I'm off the block. They said I'm at the movie. Okay. So now I'm charged, you know? So the, the callback was basketball. So <laughs> I was like, man, I'm about to go crazy in this basketball <laughs> shit. I got this shit. Nobody could dunk. Nobody yeah. could even do yeah. no kind of real hooping at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. So I was in there literally like you see in the movie. Pumpkin mugs. I'm from Chicago, so I was a little rough, you know, in there, right? And especially that time in my life, I'm probably more incorrigible than, <laughs> than the rest of everybody, uh, influenced by my, you know, in my Chicago uh -huh. environment. Mm -hmm. So, man, I'm talking about I'm taking off. Boom! Pushing motherfuckers. <laughs> and so, like, when I play on boom, and I'm pushing motherfuckers on the ground and stuff, literally, Jeff Pollock, who was the director, rest in peace, he came running on the stage, mm -hmm. literally. This is how I found out I got the role, right? He ran on the stage, like, say you, me, he ran on the stage. The director ran on stage, you got, got this, this, you got this, you got this. <laughs> I said, oh shit. Then I leave, man, and I'm on the A train in New York. And I'm going home like, man, this is the 90s, ain't no, ain't no, like, I, yeah, you know, all this, all this shit, crazy yeah. shit ain't, I can't wait to tell my, like, my OG, I'm gonna tell my mom what's going on. And uh, my mom received it like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and show me a movie mug. <laughs> but show me a movie. Did you know Pac was in the movie when you were? No, at the time, it was Tretch. That's right. Oh, Forrest Whitaker, not Ooh. Leon okay. and Tupac. Shout out Leon. Leon and I also dope. heard, correct me if I'm wrong, Pac gets shot towards the, the end, end of the movie. He did get shot in that That's movie. Right. He got shot at the end of that. And there was like, uh, they were like, they, they started to make decisions based on that. So one of the decisions was there was a lookalike who was his stand in who just happened to just look very much like him. Wow. Mm. So at the end of the movie, there are spots where it's not Tupac. Mainly in the game. Wow. When you yeah. see the game, he just missed the game. There was more for him to do in the in the basketball game at the end. Gotcha. You see him just off on the sideline. Yeah, do this, do yeah, that. Yeah. But there was more for him to do. Instead, they ended up using a lookalike. Mm -hmm. Wow. Did you get to know him well? I got to know Tupac extremely well. Gotcha. Yeah, I knew Tupac re really well. I talked to him up until he died, two weeks before he died, because he was shot. Wow. But my memories of him that are more that are uh, personal are uh, from above the rim experience, obviously, and uh, I think that was his second movie. And Tupac wasn't iconic at the time, of course, yeah. so we're talking about him from this perspective, like in this era. Yeah. But Tupac at the time, so and I'm like an MC. I, 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 I'm an MC. Now, I will always say I'm an MC. It's like a game. <laughs> I'm an MC till I die. I'm an MC. Yeah. I'm an MC, right? So at the time, I was just like, I didn't care who the rapper was. I was just kind of like, I don't care who you are. Like, <laughs> right? <laughs> I, I don't care. Because that's kind of the persona. That's how you have to be. That's, that's, how, that's how you got to be, right? That's, that's how, how you be. be. Right. So it's like, that's how I felt. And plus, being from Chicago, you know, we kind of known as haters. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we hate on you until you're Jordan. You got to be Jordan, OK? Yeah. Or LeBron, or some top notch person for them yeah. to be like, you all right? To give it up. Yeah. Yeah. You got to give up anything. Yeah. You got to be like, up. top notch. It's a little, it's a little do you, ridiculous. Do you 